in this school spider tutorial i'm going to show you how to manage the pupil blogs on the pupil vle section so i'm logged in as a pupil now so i'm logged in as daniel here um, if i just click on blogs at the top you'll see this is where all daniel's blogs that he started uh, will appear in here so he can just click start a new blog and that, that'll just start a new item and then they can all start to all other pupils can start to fill in different comments on there now the blogging system works by um, when a pupil starts a blog, not only can the pupils at their school go on and comment on the blog, but also pupils at other schools that use SchoolSpider. So any pupil who's logged into this pupil VLE can see other schools' blogs. So if I just click on view all blogs here, so this is uh, these are blogs from uh, pupils who are at this school, so pupils at Oakwood Primary. But if I'm a pupil, I can click show blogs from all of the schools. And then this will show the blogs from every pupil at, um, at all schools that use School Spider. So Longton Primary, J.H. Godwin, and uh, Daniel can just click into it and view it and, you know, post comments onto there and that sort of thing. Uh, so it's very, it's very sort of um, open for, for pupils to have blogs and discussions with each other. So if a pupil wants to start a blog, they just click start a new blog. Choose a category for it, so ICT and games. Uh, we're going to do Minecraft chat. And this is the body we're going to put. Any cool stuff you have done on a Minecraft, please show here. So that's great. They've added a title, they've added a description. The pupils can also add media to this, so they can add images, files, and YouTube videos to here. So if I just click add an image, it just pop, pops open their computer and they can add images to this. So let's imagine these are sort of Minecraft images. They just double click it and they can upload them, upload more than one image. So you see it's really simple for them to upload images just to uh, um, associate with the text that they're adding. And then all they do is click publish your blog. So this is now live and then other pupils are able to go on and post comments on here so um, it's not going to work so great with just one pupil commenting to himself um, you know it's it works better with sort of 20 30 pupils so I'm just going to write a comment wow cool pictures and I guess posted on there you can reply to people's replies so it's multi-threaded so you can see how the discussions build up really, really quickly into sort of vibrant discussions. Um, there's a, you'll see how these went on there straight away. There's a lot of um, safeguarding features on here. So pupils, as the pupils can add their own information and start their own blogs onto here, there ends up being a lot of information. And for teachers, it's quite a lot of information to manage. So what we do is we let as much information go on, go directly onto the blogs as possible, unless we see something that's a little bit dodgy and we pick up on it and then just remove it automatically. So for example, um, we might pick up on a swear word or we might pick up on a link in here or any type of bully and we try and pick up on that. So that will all get picked up and flagged straight away. So we put it live unless we find something that's a bit dodgy in it. Pupils can also, what we're trying to do is get the pupils to self-moderate each other really. So um, the pupils can go on and read this sort of stuff. And if they find that there's something bad on here, so they can instantly just report this blog and what that'll do is that'll instantly remove the blog and report um, report the blog to um, a teacher at the school that created it. Uh, the pupils can also like and dislike the blogs. Um, the more likes they get, the higher up the um, the leaderboard they go. If they get too many dislikes, it gets removed as well. You can like and dislike pupils' um, comments. You see on here, you can report pupils, so the pupils can report pupils to the teachers at the school. So if I went on and reported Daniel Lacey, I can write a short description of what he's actually done wrong, and that will get reported to the teacher themselves. So I'll show you where the reported pupils go. As soon as you log in, you've got this reported pupils section here. So just have a look in here and just make sure, you know, see, see if there's anything that you need to approve um, or is there any sort of instance that you need to look at. They'll all just show up in this reported pupils block here. Um, yeah, so, so the, the pupils are able to just go on and add comments. And, and unless we see something bad or something's reported to us, um, you know, we, we let everything go online. So at the moment, we don't have any alerts. 
for example, if I go on here and I just report this blog and I'm going to remove this blog. So this has been sent for approval by a teacher. You'll see now, if I just re refresh this, that you've got one blog that needs approval. So anything that gets flagged up, we can uh, we can actually see it. So if I see, right, this blog needs approval. I'm just going to edit it now, see what it is. So let you know at the top, uh, this blog was flagged by Daniel Lacey. So we can have a look through. You know, we can check the comments, make sure that they're right. And if that's okay, we can just click approve and save. And then it's back live again. Um, like I said, it's really about trying to get the pupils to sort of self-moderate each other and manage the content that they put on there because there's just too much content really with, with all pupils adding information. There's too much content for the teachers to manage. So yeah, we have all these safeguards. Just keep an eye out for your alerts at the top. Um, anything that flags up here um, will usually have been reported by a pupil.